Dear viewers, welcome to Doordushan Kantra Kohima. Today, we will be having a talk on the topic National Food Security Act 2013. Three of us are from Kohima District Legal Services Authority as panel lawyers. Before going further, may I take this time to introduce our panelists for today's talk. Today we are privileged to have Ms. Nilhavolo Rako, who is a practicing lawyer in the trial court Kohima and also impaneled as panel lawyer in the Kohima District Legal Services Authority. We also have Mrs. Medohono Karatsu, who is also a practicing lawyer in the trial court of Kohima and also a panel lawyer in the Kohima District Legal Services Authority. We are happy to have both of you here for this talk today. We hope that we will learn so many things of what the Act is all about. To begin with, the enactment of the National Food Security Act 2013 in July 5, 2013 marks a baritim shift in the approach to food security and welfare to rights-based approach. Three years after the adoption of the National Food Security Act 2013, the state of Nagaland, after much bargaining with the Center on the Financial Aspect, came to effect from 1st July 2016. As per the Rules of Executive Business 2020, the Nodal Department for the State of Nagaland for implementing this Act is a department of food and civil supplies where the district administrations, the local bodies and the village councils are assisting the department to identify eligible priority beneficiaries. And therefore it was introduced by the government to provide quality and nutritious food for common people, poor and pregnant women. Even today we see in the headline of the newspaper as per Supreme Court direction, the states were asked to provide rations to sex workers without identity proof. And so, this act is a very important, very relevant uh, act where we are going to uh, discuss in Lenin Parade today. And so, we invite the panelists. And to begin with, I take this time uh, to put up a question to Madam Meadow. On, can you please highlight on the main objectives of this National Food Security Act 2013 in a nutshell? Uh, the main objectives of the National Food Security Act is to provide for food and uh, nutritional security uh, in human life cycle okay. uh, approach by ensuring uh, access to adequate uh, quantity uh, of quality food uh, at affordable prices to people to live a life uh, with dignity and for matters connected therewith. Okay, so uh, the main objective of the National Food Security Act is to provide food and nutritional security in human life. And so uh, can we also hear some important components under the National Food Security Act from Ms. Awo? The Food Security Bill promotes 75% uh, in rural population 50% in uh, urban households the right of uh, the right to 5 kg of food grains per person rupees uh, at rupees 3 per kg for rice rupees 2 per kg for wheat and rupees 1 per kg of coarse, coarse grain to the priority beneficiaries as per the act i see so we also uh, see that irrespective of the rural or the urban population, there are provisions uh, for both the rural and urban mm, population yes, as yes, well yes, under yes, the Act. Yes. Okay, if I may ask this question again, we are talking about uh, the uh, providing of food, providing of nutritional uh, security uh, to, to the populations. Now, we also hear about the Russian cart mm -hmm. carts. So, uh, if I may put this question to Madam Meadow on 
can you please highlight us or can you please um, share us something about what is National Food Security Scheme card is all about? Uh, under this uh, National Food Security Scheme, ration card has, uh, is one of the official documents mm -hmm. issued uh, by the state government in India okay. and to household that mm -hmm. are eligible to purchase subsidized uh, food grains mm -hmm. from the public distribution system okay. uh, under the National Food Security Act. So, uh, if I may again continue with this uh, question that f to obtain that ration card mm -hmm. which is available under the Act, mm -hmm. uh, for as far as the state of Nagaland is concerned, is that the uh, Food and Civil Supplies uh, Department, the nodal department in for obtaining this card? Yes, they have to go to the uh, Food and Civil Supplies Department okay, to okay. obtain a uh, uh, ration card. I see, mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. We also uh, wanted to hear from Ms. Avo on who are covered under the National Security Act because we <coughs> talk about the urban population, we talk about the, uh, the rural population as well. So actually what does the Act talks about uh, who are identified or who are covered under this uh, National Food Security Act? Uh, as per the National Security Act, uh, Section 10 of the National Food Security Act, provides for identification uh, as well as coverage of persons under the AAY schemes uh, and the remaining households a priority household by the state government. And not only that, uh, this ability is also one of the most criteria for the inclusions of the beneficiaries under the Act. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, you, you are talking about the uh, Andiyodaya Ana Yojana, Yoj yes, that's yes. AAY. Okay, yes, yes. Okay. Now, uh, in, an, in a nutshell, we also hear about the maternity benefit mm -hmm. uh, identified under the Act mm -hmm. uh, 2013. And so, uh, if I may put up this question to uh, Madam uh, Meadow on how far the state of Nagaland, specifically the state of Nagaland, is effective in implementing this Section 4B of the Act in regard to maternity benefit, if you can uh, highlight uh, broadly on how far the state is implementing this Act. Uh, well, uh, as per Section 4B of the Act, the Department of uh, Social Welfare is implementing a maternity benefits okay. scheme entitled uh, uh, as Pradhan Mantri uh, Vandana Yojana, okay. known as PMMYV, okay. Okay. where eligible beneficiaries who are applied, uh, who uh, who have applied okay. or uh, and complied with the conditions, mm -hmm. will receive cash and uh, cash incentives of rupees five thousand. Okay. Uh, in three installments okay. uh, through district uh, transfer benefit um, to their uh, to their own individual bank accounts, mm -hmm. and the remaining rupees one thousand mm -hmm. is uh, to be paid by the Department of Health and Family Welfare um, under a true JSY scheme. Okay. Okay. Uh, so far, the PA uh, so far uh, it has come to the knowledge that the PMMVY scheme mm -hmm. uh, has covered yeah. and paid. Uh, 22,623 yes. uh, beneficiaries yes. against a target of 3,292 beneficiaries mm -hmm. set by the Ministry of Women and Child Development. Okay, okay. So as per the, as per the figure shown that about, uh, about 22,000, mm, two more than 22,000 uh, yeah, 22, identified. Yeah. That's a good number uh, as far as the state number. of yes, Nagaland yes. is concerned. So mm -hmm. if I may also further ask, uh, is that the benefits being uh, allotted to any, any pregnant woman going to any of the uh, hospitals or uh, for that matter clinics or is there any categories as such? Uh, I think it is allotted only to the government institutions okay. if the delivery okay. has been done in the government institutions. Registered, yeah, uh, registered government. government institutions. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Um, now moving on to Ms. Avo again. Uh, what, what is the status or position? Uh, in regard to nutrition as per Section 5 of the Act. Section 5 of the Act uh, of National Food Security Act 2013 talk identified about uh, giving nutrition as well. And so can you please highlight us and specifically um, uh, the state of Nagaland as well in the implementing part? Okay. Uh, under Section 5, Clause 1A under uh, of the National Food Security Act. Okay. The Department of Social Welfare provides supplementary mm -hmm. nutrition to children okay. in the age group of six months to six years. Okay. Implemented uh, uh, for those who are enrolled in the Angawadi centers mm -hmm. 
and Section 5B of the National Food Security Act mm -hmm. implemented by the Department of School Education okay. through mid the mill which is also applicable here in Nagaland. Okay, so uh, for that matter, uh, w we, we can understood in this way that for those children from six months to six years yes. who are eligible to uh, apply or obtain this provision, they have to enroll in the Nganmati centers. Yes, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So that means as far as the implementation part is concerned, the Department of Social Welfare mm -hmm. and the uh, Department of School Education mm -hmm. is uh, implementing this uh, section yes. portion. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, uh, moving on to the implementation part at present, mm -hmm. in the present scenario, mm -hmm. if I may put this question to Madam Meadow on how is the National Food Security Act being implemented at present, the larger picture of the Act uh, in the state of Nagaland? Mm, so far, uh, the, uh, the National Food Security Act converts uh, into legal entitlements okay. for existing food security programs of the government of India. Mm -hmm. So it includes a midday meal, like uh, my learned con colleague has said, uh, okay. includes the midday meal schemes, mm -hmm. uh, integrated child uh, development services schemes, mm -hmm. and uh, the public distribution system. I so see. I think I those see. are the uh, major okay. uh, take-ups okay. uh, under this act okay. Uh, okay. through the state of uh, through the uh, state of Nagaland by the state I of see. Nagaland. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm. We also now, uh, for our discussion uh, sake, we can identify so many provisions mm -hmm. for lactating mothers, for pregnant women, for children from six months to six years as well, and so many other schemes and provisions, uh, so and so forth. Now, uh, I was also um, uh, reminded of uh, whether does the act has any provision in regard to grievance, uh, grievance redressal uh, mechanisms as per the Act, if I can put this question to Ms. Avo. Mm. Uh, yes, as per the Act, that is a uh, National Food Security Act, uh -huh. the state government shall put a place of uh, these internal grievances, redressal mechanism, mm -hmm. uh, which may include call centers, mm -hmm. uh, helplines, designations of nodal officers I see. Uh, or such other mechanisms as may be prescribed by the Act. Okay, okay. Yes. So uh, if we can understand in this way that uh, those um, nodal officers are placed in all the districts yes. in the state of Nagaland as yes. far as the state of Nagaland is concerned. Yes, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. We also have uh, another query to Madam Meadow. Mm -hmm. Um, is, that, is there any related provisions or mechanisms for pro uh, <coughs> providing food and nutritional security to common men? Because the Act is also talking about particularly for lactating mothers, mm -hmm. as I've mentioned earlier mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. The Act also emphasizes on the nutrition, uh, providing nutrition to the children as well as. Mm -hmm. So uh, is there any mechanism or any provision for the common men? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, under the... Mm, National Food Security Act. The followings are laid down, like uh, uh, such as fair uh, price shops, mm -hmm. food grains, mm -hmm. uh, food security, and uh, in uh, in rural areas. Mm -hmm. And there are tar uh, targeted uh, distributions, uh, public distribution systems. Okay. Uh, okay. Are the uh, are the main provisions uh, and mechanism. Okay. For the for common man yeah for general. the common man in general. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, <coughs> In a nutshell again, coming back to Ms. Avo, mm -hmm. if we can also kindly highlight or mention some few rights. Mm -hmm. We talk about the rights, the duties of the implementing agency. Uh, for that matter, for the state of Nagaland is the national, uh, for implementing the act is the Food and Civil Supplies Department. Uh, so uh, can you mention some of the few rights provided under the act? Mm -hmm. uh, according to the targeted distribution system, that's, uh, that is TDS, Priority ha household to be covered under the uh, A AY schemes shall receive 35 kg of rice, uh, 35 kg of food grains per month at subsidized rate. I see. Not only that, the pregnant women uh, are entitled for mater ben maternity benefit mm -hmm. of not less than rupees 6,000. Okay. Uh, for children at the age of group of six months to six years. Edge appropriate meals will be provided free of charge to the edge group of six months to six years okay. as well. Okay. Mm. 
For a child below the age of six months, uh, exclusive breastfeeding shall be promoted. Thank you. Thank and you. the state government shall, through establish Angawadi, identify those, uh, identify and provide meals free of charge to the children who suffer from malnutrition. Okay. Malnutrition. So these are the few rights that has been mentioned under the National Food Security Act. Okay. Okay. Um, now we come to know that it is uh, as per the rules of executive business, uh, the main nautil department is the food and civil supplies. However, uh, there are certain other departments working on convergence mm -hmm. basis also, like the social welfare yeah, department and education mm -hmm. department. Mm -hmm. Health and family mm -hmm. comes mm -hmm. in there, mm -hmm. and so um, and also mention may be made that there are a lot of provisions for different categories of people, mm -hmm. and for that matter in general as well. And so, in order to obtain those provisions mm -hmm. provided under the Act, can you also generally, uh, for that matter, generally, uh, if you can kindly um, throw us or uh, mention mention the particular inclusion criteria or the exclusion criteria on, who, uh, or uh, who all can obtain those uh, provisions under the Act? Uh, well, as uh, as per the um, National Food Security Act, the priority, uh, the criteria. Uh, for identification of priority household who mm -hmm. can avail uh, those schemes under the national food security okay. uh, are household having an annual family income of uh, rupees 1.5 lakhs okay. and okay. falling under the following category mm -hmm. will be considered for inclusion under mm -hmm. priority household mm -hmm. such as uh, vener uh, vulnerable and marginalized sections of the people infected with HIV uh, positive mm -hmm. and duly they are also duly registered by the Nagaland State AIDS uh, Control Society and Sex and Household with a Disabled uh, Person okay. as he, uh, okay. Head of the Household mm -hmm. as um, uh, defined in the uh, Person with Disability Act 1995 okay. uh, subject to sub, uh, submission of prescribed uh, certified by a component medical authority mm -hmm. means they have to be certified that they are disabled okay. Uh, okay. and then even single woman mm -hmm. uh, including widow or unmarried, unmarried woman, divorced woman, or mm -hmm. deserted woman, and uh, even homeless and destitute household. Okay, okay. Uh, occupationally, uh, vulnerable groups like casual domestic workers, mm -hmm. unskilled workers, even casual laborers, mm -hmm. uh, rickshaw or cart pullers, uh, marginal farmers, mm -hmm. uh, vegetable vendors, rag pickers, Will, uh, there are uh, such categories will okay. also be included under priority household okay. and okay. even uh, if he or she uh, yeah uh, and the most important he or she should be a, a bona fide citizen of um, uh, India and okay. a permanent resident of Nagaland yes, yes. Okay. and uh, it is under under this act even a salaried uh, employee mm -hmm. both pr uh, public and uh, private sectors private can also come under this uh, uh, priority household if that uh, their income is falling below the bar, uh, income bar uh, mentioned falls below okay. that yeah okay. 1.5 lakhs i see mm -hmm. i see is there any uh, exclusion criteria as such laid down by the act as well mm -hmm. yes there are few criteria uh, which exclude from the uh, f uh, from the act uh, I'm talking about the exclusion criteria. Exclusion. Okay. Yeah. Yes, as per the act, there are few criteria that has been uh, excluded from to get benefit from the act. I see. Uh, any member uh, of the household possessing the four wheel wheeler, I those see. are excluded from the act uh, from the schemes. Uh, second would be uh, any household receiving rations or uh, any other subsidy okay. from any other schemes. I they see. are excluded. I see. I see. And uh, any members of the household who is an employee of the government as well as state government uh, with an annual income of uh, more than rupees 1.5 lakhs, okay. they are excluded from the schemes okay. as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, we have heard so much from our panelists today, and uh, it all boils down to uh, saying this that uh, the act is a very vast uh, act where it covers um, ample of. Um, uh, different categories of uh, people, uh, women sector, uh, men also, and in the children as well, and and in common men at large. And so, um, I would really request our people, 
all the viewers and all the people that uh, if you can kindly um, get in touch with the nodal department, get registered yourself as per the act and get all these provisions which are laid down under the act. Yeah, thank you so much uh, to both of you. We acknowledge your contribution in imparting information as well as awareness about the rules, the legal provisions, the rights and mechanisms under this National Food Security Act. We are so thankful to both of you. And we wish and hope that uh, through this program, uh, there will be more effective implementation of the act across uh, the state.